I asked you, the community of Mortal Kombat 1, I said, give me your Mortal Kombat 1 hot takes. And damn, did you guys deliver. There are some wild things in this comment section. And we gotta talk about some of them. Because some of these hot takes are actual hot takes. Some are blatantly just silly. And some of them, I'm like, there's no way you think that. So subscribe here for more content. And let's talk about some of these wild hot takes. Let's go ahead and start with mine. I said cameos are actually fun and unique mechanical addition to Mortal Kombat franchise. Do I hope it's in every iteration? No, but it's great for MK1. That's that's my hot take. That's what I think. It's a hot take because not everybody agrees with it, but I like cameos. In fact, this person agrees. Says cameos are great. Bring something to every character every season. And this next one is kind of crazy. It says Havoc and Homelander don't need nerfs. Everyone else needs to be buffed to their level. Uh, yeah, I can see both sides though, right? Like I can see that they definitely do need some kind of nerfs. And if you're not gonna do those nerfs, then yeah, I agree. Just put everybody at that level. Let's make it crazy. I can see that as a hot take. And then there's ones like this where they just say, I wish they'd bring stage fatalities back in a big, big way. It's not really a hot take because I feel like anything like that is just what the whole community wants. Like we all want stage fatalities. Stuff like that just brings more depth, more uniqueness to the game. Not really a hot take, but uh, take it that. Rain is a top three character. Yeah, that's a, that's a hot one. I think it's widely regarded that Rain is not top three. So stating that is kind of crazy. This one says definitely air combos and cameos. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hot take is there, but yeah, okay. <laughs> the combat pack two choices are gas. Ghostface is okay, but the T-1000 and Conan are amazing choices. Definitely a hot take because I absolutely disagree. Doesn't mean I'm right or they're right. I just totally disagree. I think the biggest hot take in this sentence is Ghostface is okay because a lot of people are more excited for Ghostface than they are for T-1000 and or Conan. MK1 Noob Cybot is much better than the MK11. 11 version both in gameplay and story damn yeah that's definitely a hot take because i feel like this uh, sentence is very divided there are a lot that agree with it and a lot that are like no f the mk1 version we love the mk11 version this user says this is possibly one of the best rosters ever uniquely because it doesn't have special forces characters like Jax or sonya i'd even remove johnny cage in order to make it more focused on more characters from other realms like otaru Dramen, or serena does anyone even remember kai i do and i i kind of do agree to that like i wasn't one to be mad that Jax or Sonya sat this game out as part of the main roster. We've had them for what it feels like forever. I like to have more sorcerers, more gods, more ninjas, stuff like that. To have just like a special forces character, though I like the character, I'm not mad that they're out for one game. And I kind of agree to the Johnny Cage part. I wouldn't have been mad if he sat out. I think he's fine that he's in, but if he had started out as a cameo, I would have been like, all right, that's fine. I liked the Chaos Reign story. Short and simple, like it. Yeah, that's a, that's a hot take for sure. That's, that, that is, that, yeah. It has the third best gameplay out of all the MK games. And I just said, yo, if you're going to say that, what are the top two? And they said MKX and MK9, which I prefer MKXs. I think I actually prefer MK1 over MK9, but that's just me. I think a lot of people attach nostalgia to MK9. But I think if you went back and played MK9 right now, I think you'd probably say that MK1 is better. Shijinko is more Shang Tsung than Shang Tsung is Shang Tsung. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I could, I could, I, I don't think that's a hot take though. I think it's like, yeah, I could see that this one is crazy baraka garris and smoke are s tier and sub-zero is a tier what baraka probably top that he's probably, he's probably like top 10 or so i'd, I'd say but putting garris and even smoke in s tier here is saying that saying he's s tier is just is psychotic putting sub-zero in a tier my brother this is not a hot take that is just delusional homelander and havoc don't need nerfs yeah another one saying they don't need nerfs i'm sorry what okay um i want to see more horror characters okay um go play mortal kombat x all cameos should be free and not part of combat packs i mean i i can't i kind of see that like as a consumer standpoint but when you really think about it the cameos do take work by developers that takes time that takes money to charge three four or five bucks for a cameo i don't care i think paying that five dollars pays the developer keeps the game going yeah it's uh but i could also see the argument of like you know i paid 70 bucks for the game make small updates like that free i i get it i i guess female sector and cyrax are good yeah i agree it's a whole new universe new characters new backgrounds it, they're yeah they're fine tremor is baraka's best partner slash cameo i would have to do some more labbing on that one but uh, i can't necessarily disagree or agree right now noob is the best character in the game uh that's just that's just wrong smoke is more broken than johnny cage i would rather fight the most competent smoke than the most noob johnny cage no smoke is n I, I again i disagree 
Smokey is not more broken than Johnny Cage. I have three hot takes. Number one, meat is better than Scorpion. I'm sorry, meat is better than the face of the entire franchise? Wild. Cabal and Reptile should be in every Mortal Kombat game going forward. Why? Sindel should never be in a new Mortal Kombat game going forward. Yeah, let's just take out one of the most iconic female characters in the game and just never put her in again. I feel like this isn't really a, a, a hot take. I feel like this is more rage bait than anything. They should bring back the crypt. Yeah, yes, they should. Yes, they should. I feel like nobody tries to do optimal combos anymore. Everyone just cares about damage. After that combo, you don't have any resources. I've been saying that forever. People always associate optimal with like the most damage. That's not the case. Optimal means most damage with the least amount of resources. You gotta consider how do you wanna knock down your opponent? Do you wanna do a hard knockdown? How do you wanna pressure with Oki? Do you sacrifice a bit more damage? Do you put your opponent mid screen and then throw out projectiles for that Oki? There's a lot of different ways to consider what is optimal. And a lot of people associate that with just, you know, how much damage can you do? And that's just not the case. <laughs> this one says every Johnny and Smoke main should just delete the game. But like, why? I wish the block and enhance buttons were separate like an MK11. I just wish that Mortal Kombat didn't have a block button. Every other fighting game, Street Fighter, Tekken, Guilty Gear, they just hold back to block. Even Injustice held back to block. Once you have a button designated to block, you open just a can of worms that's just so annoying to work with. I have a whole entire opinion on that. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole right now, but yeah, I, I agree to that part. MKX and 11 are buns? Like buns in a good way or in a bad way? Because if in a bad way, that's wrong. Remove fatal blows? Yeah, just take out supers. F them, I guess. Buff Scorpion? My brother, he's like top five right now. You want to buff Scorpion? MK should just stop making games at this point. Yeah, one of the biggest fighting game franchises in history. You just stop making games. Yep, and they're definitely going to do that. They're definitely just like, yep, we're done, guys. Totally. And one of the last ones here that caught my attention says games should have been free with all the microtransactions. I don't know about free, but they shouldn't have that many microtransactions. I get that any game's gonna have like in-game purchases, whether it be cosmetics, voice announcers, yada, yada, yada. But you don't have to buy any of them. They're not like pay to win. Like you can not buy any of those cosmetics and still be fine. That's just their way as a company to make a little bit more money for any of those that want to buy those cosmetics and stuff, but you don't have to. So I don't think the game should have been free. I do think there should be a little bit less microtransactions and maybe a bit more uh, free treats for everybody, but the game, no, nah, it shouldn't have been free. There are some wild hot takes in this comment section. These are just some of them that I went over today. With all that being said, guys, let me know down in the comments your hot take <laughs> and try to keep it a little bit civil down there. If you found this video informative and or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.